Mike, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to say um, his head is cut off because that's nasty. That's some, that's some gangster stuff, man. That's just like, I, I don't want to go there. But, bro, you buried 12 feet under right now. <laughs> you are 12 feet under. You and the Lakers are an incredible, this just blows my mind, they're nine games behind the six seed. So just to yeah. get out of the, just to get out of playoff, just to get out of playoff position, I mean, just to get out of playing play position. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They're nine games back. They're they're closer to falling out of the play in than they are to securing their playoff. I mean, Earth. that's that, that's yeah. amazing. And and so, okay, play in. They would they'd be better off missing the playoffs. Might as well miss the playoffs. Why? Um, if their draft pick is somewhere between one and ten. Somebody else gets it. I think it's New Orleans. If it's between 11 and 20, somebody else gets it. I think it might be Memphis. They don't have the draft pick. You might as well miss the playoffs. You get into the play-in, you're going to lose that one. You'll be like the, the ninth or, or tenth seed in the Western Conference. You ain't going to win two games. You haven't done that all year. And the funny thing is, Mike, you look at that 27 and 34 record. After the game, one of the funniest, uh, unintentionally funny pieces of sound came from w Russell Westbrook, who said, we've beaten some of the best teams in the league, and we've lost to some of the worst teams in the league. <laughs> no, 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 you are. No, you are. You are one of the worst teams in the league. You haven't lost to the worst team. That's you. You're in you're not in the good team category. They're a bad basketball team. The LA Lakers, right. LeBron James right. has a bad basketball team. And I and I've never been able to say that even even when he got to Cleveland. When he got a rookie in Cleveland, it took him, a, it took him like 2 or 3 years to make the playoffs, maybe like 3 or 4 years for them to make the playoffs. I never thought they were bad though. They were hopeless before LeBron got there and then I think they doubled their victory total. Even though it was like 35 and 47, whatever, they weren't bad because they had LeBron and they were good. You could see they were just going places. Yeah. This team is worse than that 27 and 34 record. They're going to another place. They are worse than their record indicates. And that's saying something. I don't know. So, I, like, I, 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 I'm, I'm intrigued, though. The sooner, well, I'm intrigued. the sooner. The sooner everybody just comes to embrace that reality that they're a bad team. I mean, like, this is how bad they are. That it's come to the bar is so low in LA, or they lowered yeah. the bar so low on Sunday against the Pelicans that there were people giving them credit last night for playing hard. Shout out to Rasheed Wallace. Both teams. Like, play well, hard. the Lakers at least played hard. It's like that's where we are now, huh? That's what this has come to. Even LeBron yeah. James said, I thought we played a good game. Just couldn't get over the hump. Like, we're in the moral victory territory with these Los Angeles Lakers as the clock ticks. Um, and you know, I mean, the idea that the Lakers put up a fight is something to celebrate. And you know that few things grind my gears more than giving people credit for doing the most fundamental aspect of their responsibility for fulfilling the most fundamental aspect of their responsibility. Just doing your job, showing up and playing hard should not get you a cookie. But that's what we are with these Los Angeles Lakers. And it got me to thinking, man, like, you know what the old saying is, thanks to Bill Parcells. You are what your record says you are to your point about them being bad, man. Sometimes, sometimes it just is what it is. And what this is, is not meant to be plain and simple. I know in LA, right. they feel entitled to titles. They but should. the reality is, and this is why I disagreed the other day when you, you know, you, you said you took a, you took issue with LeBron sort of distancing himself from the team. Uh, yeah. And after that Bucks loss, when he was like, oh, I knew we weren't going to be champions. I knew we weren't on that level. I could have told you that before this game, we weren't on a championship level. Sometimes only so much you can do with a situation. Sometimes there's only so much that even LeBron James can carry, can overcome. Like this team was never yeah. built to succeed. It was never going to succeed. 
and the only problem, how about five? The only problem, the only problem is that we, and by we, I include LeBron in this, who helped engineer the trade for Russell Westbrook. We looked at all yeah. these names and thought that they were better than they are. And sometimes, man, it just ain't it ain't for you. And it's like even even LeBron James, even the Los Angeles Lakers, even the mighty Los Angeles Lakers, they just were never going to be good. They were never built to succeed. And no matter how much we look for them to find an, another gear or find a switch, it's just not there. Learn, learn to accept it, learn to live with it. And beyond that, Michael, when it comes to the off season, I don't know if you read this Bleacher Report expose today. It's like, look, man, Rob Polinka may not be safe. Russell Wells Westbrook is probably looking for yet another change the same way that they're looking to move on from him. They're the best the Lakers could hope for right now. And I saw Shaq said, um, on CNBC the other day, if you trade LeBron James, you'll never win again. I think that's awfully extreme. The problem yeah, right. with it the Lakers, extreme. the problem with the Lakers goes above the players or even the player general manager in LeBron James. The problem with the Lakers, and I'm not the, certainly not the first to say this, is this mom and pop operation that they insist upon running that includes everybody from Genie Bus, the Rambuses, Rob Palenka, Magic Johnson, everybody got a voice in an organization up to and including LeBron James. And so the reason why they probably won't win anytime soon if LeBron James were to depart is that finding somebody that is a Pied Piper to come in and provide the quick fix for all the problems that LeBron James did fix and overcome when he got there along with Anthony Davis thanks to Clutch Sports that's probably far fetched. They could win if they built it the right way. Get it? If they ran the organization the right way, if they protected they draft did. picks and they, and they built it through young players like Memphis yeah. and Cleveland and other organizations do, they could win again. My point is but the Mike, best they, that the Lakers Mike, should hope it. for right. They won by, uh, doing it the, by, by, by doing it the wrong right. way. They still won. No, that's what I'm saying. But my point is if LeBron were to go or were to leave, to sh they won't win again, says Shaq, is because another LeBron's not walking through that door and bringing yeah. Anthony Davis with him to give you that quick free yeah, agency yeah. fix that they that they love in L.A. because it's Hollywood. Final point on it is this: the best the Lakers can, Laker Nation can enjoy right now and hope for right now with this bad basketball team is that they're just relevant, because for a while they were relevant, they were irrelevant from a basketball standpoint. They were only relevant because they were the Lakers. And for, for various stretches, they've been irrelevant. Right now, they're at least relevant. They're not contending. And again, the sooner everybody can come to that reality, the sooner we can stop looking at this train wreck and wondering why this train is wrecking and look at it and just, as I've been saying all season, Michael, appreciate LeBron James's greatness because one of these days, he's going to decide to be Tom Brady. Maybe unexpectedly. He says yeah. he wants to play with his kids. One of these days, he's going to walk away and we're going to be like, oh, man, LeBron James, it's over. We should have appreciated while we had it. This team is not it, it to be can't. viewed through the prism of a relevant contending team. The sooner we all embrace that, that reality, the better we could all be. That, that doesn't work. Look, it's the LA Lakers, so we'll always talk about them. One of the most iconic brands in all of sports. So Lakers, Cowboys, whether they're good or bad, they're always interesting because of who they are and, and what their history is. And this whole appreciation thing, I agree with you. We should be doing that. But we have to fight against every strand of human nature to go in the, uh, in the other direction to do it because human nature says, well, wait a minute. Yeah, okay. Uh, I, I, I'm, ha I'm having a hard time being on some appreciation tour when you're seven games under 500 and you're the sure. Lakers and I look up and I see all these great names, including one of the great names, the guy you have on your shirt, you know, was part of one of the uh, terrific teams in NBA history, 33 straight wins. So yeah, a Laker and that guy too. I mean, so many magic and you know Jerry West on and on. It's hard. I get the tradition. I get the say, standard. Oh well, they're not gonna make the playoffs, but I appreciate the greatness of LeBron James. Now, nah, if you're so great, it's unfair. But this is how at least I, 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 this is how I look at it. You're so great. At least <laughs> drag your team into a playoff hey. spot.
Hey, yeah, but so much a man can do. Hey, yeah, hey, but well, so much one man can do. And, Sir, and every, he's spoiled. Look, Michael, us. in life and, I can say and this, in L.A., can I say? every situation has a shelf life and a ceiling. Right. This is this is who they are, Michael. Let's stop being in denial well, about who they are us, and who they've always been supposed to be. Yeah, I would say that. I would agree with that. He's because I've seen him drag some teams that are less than this one. I you know sure? Carmelo's old. I know Russell Westbrook can't shoot. Um, I know Anthony Davis has an injury. But again, why is this one so good? Okay, it's supposed okay. to be. But that's the there's just, okay. you're doing it again. You've seen him drag <laughs> teams that are less than this one, based on what yeah. payroll? No resume. Based, based on talent. Based on talent. Look at look at some of the teams that he's gotten into the playoffs. Ooh, Clearly, they not okay, special. But, see, but that's but but what not does that special. have to do with anything? And is this team as it, talented as we believe it to be? Like just I because just is. because they got well, he is. I don't think. But okay, the teams that, teams not exceptionally talented. I agree with you. No, they're not. Um, you know. But I'm just looking at the LeBron pieces, James. If nothing else, the pieces able, don't fit. What he's been able to do is just pull up everybody. It, it used to be, and maybe this is a, a larger conversation about uh, what a 37 year old LeBron uh, can't do. You know, 37 and 27, big difference. We're talking about birthdays at the beginning of the show. Here's one thing with birthdays. Yeah, you feel good, and maybe it, it looks the same on the surface, but deep down, you know, you're not as spry at 37 as you were at 27. So LeBron James, it used to be, you put LeBron James's name in the lineup, and no matter what the what was in those four slots. Yeah, but this okay, is LeBron and his prime. A, it would, no see, matter what not, was in those four other slots. That's an overstatement. You're going somewhere. That's an overstatement. No, it's okay. not. You're going, you're going, you're going, it's true. You're going to the playoffs. I ain't say championship. Okay, you're going to the playoffs. Okay, you're right. You're going right. to the playoffs. I'm glad you added that addendum. You're going to the playoffs. But to act like LeBron James has never had talent, that's false. And we don't need to well, overstate I, it. Well, I'm not going to say never. I'm not going to say never had it. Because at it's been, his height, he's degrees. always had great peak players around him when he achieved his greatest achievements in terms of going deep into the playoffs and winning championships. I mean, yeah, the 07 Ooh. Cavaliers. I, I, Thank I you. remember okay, the 07 okay, Cavaliers. Okay. All right, but when hey, he hey, shout won, out to y'all. Hey, love y'all brothers. But. When, when he won, when he won, he always okay. had great players. Just getting the playoffs, you're right. A, a LeBron right. and four dudes was always right. the, the thing. That's, but, but, but here's all I'm trying you know, to tell Mike, you is it's not yeah, a failure. Yeah. We failed. In, in terms of our expectations were too high for this team. I a, to me a failure is based on expectations. A failure is based on what you think somebody should do. Tell me why this team poorly constructed as it is should be better other than names you recognize. There's no re I mean it's because it's not even when they've been and, it, and it, they've been they've been okay. guys in and out of the lineup in fairness. Injuries have right, played right, a part, right? Right. But that that's not the that's sole it. reason. That's well, not the sole Mike, reason. I mean, Mike, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I mean, it wasn't that long. They lack shooting. They, no they lack shooting. Uh -huh. They're an awful defensive team, and they're poorly constructed. Which, if we would have, if we wouldn't have gotten hypnotized by the, by the big names, we should have all seen this coming. So I have a hard time oh, characterizing this as a failure, given that it was never set up for them to succeed. Uh, and I, I blame LeBron, back to, blame Palenka, back to blame whoever day. you want to blame. We, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can, can we harken back to a very distant day? And 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 you know, kids, I I, I hope I hope I don't bore you with this because you, you you might say, man, I wasn't even alive way back then. I want to harken back to oh, I don't know, September, October of the year 2020. <laughs> okay, 2020, <laughs> 2020. Sure. Yeah. Um, we were on we were on the air. We were talking about the Lakers and their talent and we may have had one of those lists, you know, top players in the NBA and somewhere in the top 10. You had two Lakers who were still there. Yeah, one of them was Anthony yeah. Davis. One of them yes, was LeBron did. James. So yes, did. that's a, wh why why did we have Hey, don't turn this back around. Don't turn this on me. I didn't make a mistake. I'm like, why would you expect <laughs> this greatness from me? No, I expect it from you because you have two Max max salary top 10 all NBA first team all NBA players as a matter of fact when they won their bubble championship I think they may have been the first championship team to have two first team all NBA players on the roster. Yeah, 
No, they, they, were, they, were, they were two. Yes. And and that supporting so cast that's why. defended. It defended. It shot a lot better from three, maybe not dramatically better, but it was a better shooting team. It was a better fitting team. And we can't overestimate that. that. You're right. They got they, they have two great players that win healthy should take them to the playoffs. Neither of them have been completely healthy all season. All I'm saying is well, we should have seen this. We should have seen this coming from a mile away. The Russell Westbrook fit ask, was always going to be an odd one. They they sacri- they made that trade instead of acquiring shooting and they're getting exactly what they deserve. And like I said, some things just ain't meant to be and it, it's not meant to be with with this with this team. At least LeBron is going to be professional enough. Here we go again, giving people cookies for doing the bare minimum professional enough to play instead of shut it down. Thank goodness. Uh, 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 uh. That's what he said. <laughs> That's what he said. It's easy to say that now with let me do some quick math with 18 games to play, right? Something like that. All right. It's easy to say that now. Uh, let's see how he feels about it. I want to see how he feels about it. Uh, in, in like in the next five or six games. Like, what happens if they go on like a four or five game losing streak? You know what? Yeah, yeah. Like the, it may be that it might be that car accident thing. Ooh, my bad. Oh, could be shoulder. I don't could know, be. but I I, I, I want to know this when we bring in when we try to assess the Lakers. We bring in an independent basketball investigator. All I want to know is how did it happen? Like how did this happen? I want a step by step. I want to I want an anatomy an of this disaster. Yeah, so yeah. we can never make this mistake again from a Lakers perspective. Like why do we think this is going to work and whose idea was it? And it's not like you don't have to run away from it. But if this Rob, if Rob Polinka said that I'm the one who asked for Westbrook, just admit that. Confess. So expect we can them heal. to make so, expect them to make some of the same mistakes next year when they operate on a superstar, aging superstars timeline, and their flawed front office structure compromises the long term viability of this team, long and short term potentially. By the way, again, we went the whole conversation and didn't make one mention of the team that actually won. The team that's won 8 out of 10, and the team that's nipping at Utah's heels for that fourth seed, your guy, Luka Doncic's Dallas Mavericks. Yeah. I know you don't believe in Luka. I know you, I know you think Luka's I do believe in Luka. We've had that conversation. No, I don't think he's overrated. I think Luka is a really good player, so losing the first round again. That's how rumors get started, um, but, man. I'm just, I'm but, <laughs> but, 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 but the Lakers, the Lakers are just more interesting. The Lakers are 27 to 34, more interesting than Dallas winning 8 out of 10. Isn't that wrong? Hey, thanks for watching brother from another on YouTube. Make sure you hit subscribe before you leave and be sure to watch us 3 to 5 p.m. Eastern time on Peacock. Appreciate you.